Good morning, everyone. Welcome back to the shed. Good morning. Morning, Candace. Um, it feels good today. It's not cold, but Candace is not all bundled up and shivering. I know. I all... Neither am I. I'm wearing a t-shirt. Yep. It's great. It's going to be in the 70s all week. Yeah. Pip Dog's uh, in here. Hey, Somewhere. Pip. Anyway, he's peeking. He's peeking hey. out. Hey, Peeker. Morning, buddy. What you doing? Cutting your eyes at your mommy? Candace, you got your box knives done? Done. Okay, and uh, we got this stuff to list over here, and then I've got more stuff in the back of the truck that we'll bring in in a little bit. Yep. Um, I've got some orders to pull for eBay, of course. Here's the box knives going out. Uh, mail. Mail is moving slow right now. So be patient. If, if you ordered something, it might take... These, hopefully, won't take a while, but we have gotten... I've gotten a few eBay... Messages saying stuff is slow. Got one message about a knife that's being slow. So you know. yeah, yeah. Hey, even us, we're waiting on stuff that should have been here early yeah. last week. So. I bought this at Sam's because last I don't know Wednesday or so, I ordered some more American Bubble Boy <laughs> bubble wrap. Shipping from Shreveport, which is northern Louisiana, and I don't think it's moved. You know. Yeah, and, the interstate was shut down up there. Yeah. From snow in Louisiana. And I'm sure, uh, I mean, if Louisiana is that bad as far as mail service goes, yeah. uh, I can only imagine what it's like up north. So, uh, and we've got some other stuff too that is not coming to us that we've ordered. So, I think I think it's just going to take maybe a week or so. Which, I mean, the timing is bad because we just came out of the holidays. And, and everything caught up, and now this hit. Right, exactly. And Mail service was actually seeming to go pretty well. Yeah. And then this winter thing happened, so I don't know. I don't know what to do. Winter is coming. Okay. Huh? No, winter has come. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm gonna pull some orders. Candace is gonna. Are you gonna start listing, I guess, or something? Yep. Do you want to tell them about our little venture out last night? <laughs> go ahead. You tell them. <laughs> you want to show them, show them the thing. Grab your phone. Okay. So last night I was browsing on a big box stores website uh, app looking for um, cast you can iron. Say the name of it. Okay, Walmart. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so, in there. It's okay. Um, so I was, I was looking for cast iron and I was just kind of scrolling through all the different products, and this showed up. Um, this brand is very expensive brand. Like this sells for almost three hundred dollars. This. Um, piece right here. Look at that. 97 cents. And they had two stores. Look, it says available. I guess we don't want to show that. No. It don't matter. Okay. It says available there and available there. 97 cents. Okay, so I mean, I'm a realist. I know Walmart does not carry this in their stores. Never seen it. Never seen anything close to it. Why would it say that though on the website? I don't know. But we're like, what the heck? You know, we'll take a chance, go out looking. And guess what happened? We didn't find it. <laughs> yeah, I wish. I had visions of like walking into the clearance section and there just being boxes of them. Oh man, that would have been awesome. <laughs> I had my GoPro. I brought the GoPro in the truck just in case something crazy happened. But no, we walked around and we looked and asked where the clearance section was and just, I don't know, yeah. we scoured both stores. But that's why we don't do very well at retail arbitrage. Every time I've ever gone to Walmart looking for the hot deal of the century that I see everybody else talking about, even when they say it's in stock or whatever, they never have they it. They never so. have it. <laughs> Ever. And I know there's a lot of people that do this, so... I don't know. Man, that would have been awesome if that we could have... That would have been awesome. For one thing, I wanted one for myself. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, that would have caused a, a domestic, probably. No, I'm just kidding. No, but I, it was my idea. Candace was not all, all for going out and looking. I'm like, screw it. We'll just go. I won't. I won't complain. We'll just go to that one. It took about an hour total. We'll go to that store, and then we'll go to the other store, and we'll look. And uh, uh, we we did see a uh, a viewer. At, at the first Walmart, <laughs> yeah. we, were, we were walking out and somebody, uh, we heard somebody yelling shed flips and, um, it was Ryan and his wife and his, his son there. So it was good to see y'all. Good to meet y'all. Yeah. But, uh, hopefully that was really cool. But, um, uh, yeah, let me, let me pull some orders. 
First order is a Nikki and Brie Bella. And this is for a viewer named Jason. Jason, thank you very much. Hope you enjoy. Miguel got a Imperial Pilots A and a Rebel Pilots A. Let's see, what is that? All right, Imperial Pilots A here. And then he got a Rebel Pilots A right here. Here we go. So thank you very much to Miguel. Lori got a DC Multiverse Shazam. Thank you very much to Lori. Appreciate it. Sold a battle pack from this shelf. Daniel Bryan and Triple H right here. Includes handcuffs. Lucky bought four, a lot of four Wildcats right here. These four, I'll show you. One, two, three, four. Thank you very much, Lucky, I appreciate it. Sold another one of these Donruss replacement carts, F4 position. Sold a You Can Be Anything, Barbie, uh, nurse version. Okay, I got a nine Bravo, I have a blue. And that's the only blue on that shelf, right? Yep. Okay. I didn't put same colors unless they're marked like this. Okay, cool. Okay, then on uh, 9 Charlie, I have a black letter A. I think that's probably it right there, mm -hmm. I believe. All right, cool. Yeah. These are both going out to Andrew. No note or anything. Uh, but Andrew, if you're a viewer, thank you very much. All right, Kathy and Darren over at Madcap Toys. This is it. Bought two Power Rangers. This one, uh, Zeo Gold Power Ranger. And Lex Luthor Collect and Connect. The other one was not a Power Ranger, by the way. This one is taking me a minute. Oh, this is it, right here. He was in disguise, and it worked. He's got the uh, got the alternate faces or whatever. Y'all probably know what, what that is. I didn't, apparently. But anyway, thank you very much to uh, Kathy and Darren over at Madcap Toys. Lydia bought two. She bought a Wonder Woman right here. And from the same movie, she bought Trevor right here from Two Bravo. Thank you very much, Lydia. Sold a sealed box of these War of Warcraft, World of Warcraft uh, cards here. Mag. Theradon's Lair Raid Deck. Sealed box 225. That's a good one. Sold a Supergirl from up here. Ah, there she is. 22 something. Sold a Will Smith dead shot. Missing a gun for $10. Sold a key fob. <laughs> I've only got, I've got five left. Sold this for $69.99. Sold a deck of Black Order cards. Spider friends, villains, ah, here we go. Black Order, right here. I think for 15. Sold an Alfred Pennyworth action figure from Hush, Batman Hush. Jason bought a Brie Bella. Thank you very much, Jason. Anthony bought a Psycho Red Ranger. Psycho Red Ranger, yes. Um, and he also bought he also bought a Psycho Blue Ranger. So thank you very much, Anthony. And one more. Stephen bought one of these Don Russ cards. So thank you very much to Stephen. Okay, short video today, uh, but we did just get this finished. Finally, we're rolling out. A new little bit of merch here. Um, Candace and I have been working. We've been working on this for months, huh? <laughs> uh, so we're selling. We have the regular sticker that we've always included with all the orders. And then 
We had a new die cut die cut made. This is a four by four die cut. It's made of vi it's vinyl. Vinyl die cut. Yep. And then got the idea from old Jackass Retro. Mm -hmm. When he sent us one of his magnets, we're like, hey, we ought to have a magnet. Yep. So. so there, we have a magnet that sticks to metal and it sticks good. Yep. Um, so anyway, we put those three things together in one little combo thing because not everybody wants a, a box resizer and uh yeah 6.49 is a price 50 cents in the u.s i hope i've set this up right I'm, I'm working on it right i haven't made it live yet 50 cents in the u.s everywhere else a dollar 50. so hopefully i have this all set up correctly <laughs> but uh i've got We've got enough to sell 250 right now, which I think is a good start. So Yeah, we're waiting on more packaging to come in. It won't be long. Yeah, there's a lot of little there's a lot of logistics that go into something even as simple as this. I had to set up stamps.com, ship station, integrate all that with Big Cartel. And we had to get like all the packaging stuff. The envelopes is what's held us up because every time we order apparently whatever factory is making them is having issues yeah this, I, is, we, this is the third supplier that we finally got them from yeah i wanted to use like a little bit stiffer envelope um which does it costs a little more for the envelope the ship the the stamps and the shipping or whatever costs a little more too but i wanted one that was a little stiffer one stiffener <laughs> uh because I didn't want people to get all bent up, scraggly looking stuff. So went with this instead. And yeah, like, like Candace said, this, it took three orders. Three um, supplier, suppliers before someone finally got them to us. And it, it didn't ship right away. It took like over a week before they shipped. Yeah, some shipping supplies are very scarce right now. I think this might have to do with the pro proliferation of sports, sports card sales. Sports cards sports cards so uh anyways they're rolled out we, we rolled out some more merch and uh yeah hope y'all like it if y'all buy it so that's gonna be it for today thank y'all very much for watching we'll see y'all again soon take care guys bye-bye bye bye pip dog